Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're going over some Node.js challenges, and, uh, well, we're chugging along quite nicely. Uh, right now, we're on the, uh, I believe, the eighth challenge, so uh, more than halfway done, but we still got some work we got to do. Uh, let's take a look at HTTP Collect. Uh, now this is a this is quite challenging. The last one it was an easy introduction into HTTP. Uh, this one we're we're dealing with uh, pipes and streams and uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. And um, you know I, I don't really use this feature of Node.js a lot in my own full stack web applications, but it's definitely a good idea to at least be familiar uh, with uh, some of the concepts that they are describing uh, in this challenge. So. Take a pause, stop the video, read the instructions, and then read the hints uh, right below. And whenever uh, you are ready, come back to the video and we will code together. Okay, so uh, in the hints and everything, they give us uh, two possible solutions um, that we could use to um, you know, solve this challenge. And I'm gonna use uh, or show you both of them. Um, so without further ado, Let's get started. And I'm going to delete this folder. We don't need it right now. Um, never mind. That folder, boom, didn't exist. <laughs> okay, uh, let us uh, create a new file 08HTTP collect.js. Okay, perfect. I'm going to bring in HTTP require. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, and also const URL. That is going to be no command line argument. There we go. Perfect. Okay, great. So we're going to call that same method, okay, with the URL, and we're going to get a response object from that. Okay. And um, let's just do a bit of error handling. Always a good idea to do that. So response dot on error. Uh, and I, I guess it doesn't really matter where this, uh, you know, code is happening. Uh, I could put it first or last, um, but good idea just to put it somewhere. And um, I'm just going to log it to the console, console.error. Uh, okay, perfect. All right. And um, I am going to take this variable here. I'm going to say let result and uh, that'll just be an empty string for right now. And that this was one of the solutions that they suggested. So like on each event, um, just append it to some variable called uh, result. Uh, let's first, you know, make the encoding uh, for this. Response set encoding utf8. Remember the response, um, the data that we get from this response, um, it's going to be a buffer object. So we have to uh, set the encoding to UTF-8 uh, right here or call to string. But, um, you know, we do this and we can forget about it. All right, so response.on data. Okay, let's give it a callback, that arrow. Okay, and then uh, we're just going to concatenate result with whatever the data is, and response.onEnd at the end of the string. We're just going to log that out to the console. We have to log out, let's see, we got to log out the number of characters and then on the second line, uh, the response itself. So console.log result.length for the number of characters, and then finally the result itself. Okay, I'm going to come here and let's uh, go to learn, you node, verify, and we are 08 HTTP collect. Let's run that code and hopefully, all right, everything looks good here. So, um, um, that's all great and stuff. We are using just the uh, natural events that come from the response object. Um, I'm going to save this code. I'm just going to comment it out and we are going to do something, um, you know, something, you know, different, a little bit, a little bit the same, uh, but we're going to, um, uh, actually install an NPM module called BL, and this is going to help us uh, deal with a stream object. Um, when you get streams, <coughs> you 
you can use them um, and like pipe them to like other functions or to um, you know pretty much anything that you want to. So it, it's basically taking a stream and instead of like receiving it in like these chunks like we do right here on response.on, uh, well we can pipe it to sort of like you know. Uh, I'm not sure the best way to describe it, but it's it's how we can take a stream and continuously send it uh, to like a function instead of like blobs at a time. All right, so I'm going to take all of this code, just comment it out very quickly, and I'll just put that below us. All right, we'll we'll come to that later. And the first thing I want to do is uh, go to my terminal. Okay, Control-K to clear that out. And I'm going to npm install a module from npm called bl. And it might give you an error. It might say something like you don't have a, a package.json, but that's totally fine. Don't worry about that. So what did we do? What just happened? Well, if we go here, um, if we go to npmjs, I believe, .com. I hope that works. Yes. Um, so basically, there's a lot of like useful third-party you know software, open source software that's you know written and created by other uh, developers, and uh, you can install it um, from npm. It's available to you you know for free. Here it is, and there's tons of great stuff on here. You're going to use npm a lot for your full stack applications. So anyway, we just installed bl, which will help us uh, write our um, you know code a little bit more cleaner. And we don't have to worry about like these uh, different events emitting to you know um, to you know, print our result. Um, so let's just you know see in action. So we're going to const bl require bl. So any native like node modules and any modules that we download from npm, we just pass the name of the module as a string to require, but any modules that we write ourselves that we didn't get from npm, well, uh, we have to you know, put in the relative path uh, here. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's uh, call http with get okay, your URL. Okay, we're gonna get a response object, back row function. Okay, perfect. And then uh, response. Now response is a stream, and we want to take that entire response stream and like pipe it, just like direct its flow to the BL function. So we're going to use pipe and BL, and that is going to take a callback. And this is going to look a little weird, but I'm going to put a fat arrow function in here. So error and data. Go one out, do a fat arrow. All right, so that looks super funky, but but trust me, all is well. And then if error, always handle your errors. Return console dot error or console dot log error. All right. Otherwise, we are going to log. Well, let's uh, actually make it to a string because this right here is a buffer object. So data. Uh, to string, okay. and then we have to log to the console data dot length and the data itself. Right. So if we save that, go back to the terminal. Uh, let's try learning node verify 08 one more time, and hopefully that should work. And okay, it does. All right, great guys. So so again, uh, the response from HTTP git, that is a stream object. We use pipe, which is, you know, natively available in node and pipe takes stream objects and just makes them flow on to the next thing instead of them blobs, how they, you know, normally behave. Okay, so let's stop here. Um, in the next video, we're going to do some more cool stuff. Let's see what the next challenge is going to be. It is going to be juggling async. Ooh, sounds really fun. So uh, stop right here, take a break, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Boop.